Well, good morning. Claire, the archaeologist, and myself are at Montezuma Castle National Monument. Um, there's so much information here, I feel like you should definitely stop in and, uh, I don't know, do some research yourself, visit. Um, we're going to try and see some of the ruins, and um, it is <laughs> going to be a little bit hard to see with this lens, but um, I don't know. Oh, I can see it around the corner, but I think it's gonna be really cool. So um, I will try to overlay some information, but um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun day. Beaver Creek has always been a major focus of life in the Verde Valley. Prehistoric Sanagua farmers constructed Montezuma Castle and other structures near the creek. They dug ditches to carry creek water to irrigate the fields of corn, beans, squash, and cotton they cultivated on flat patches of creek bottom land. They also hunted animals attracted by the creek and gathered creekside plants. I think the, the Pueblo was built up here, not to, uh, for protection from enemies, no trace, well, only one documented uh, instance of, of hostilities mm -hmm. in 350 years mm -hmm. here. Um, so it wasn't that. Um, it, you want to get the, the dwellings up off of the valley floor if you could use it for agriculture. But I think also it's important to have it up here uh, because of wind conditions. Wind here would blow the smoke from cooking fires away. You're up higher than the insects along the river. It makes a lot of sense. So, but it limits how much you, where, where you can build right. and what you can build. Right. Behind us there, you know, on between this room block, right immediately behind us, and the Pueblo proper is a plaza. Mm -hmm. Now that was excavated, and it is a plaza. It was used as very much, we think, like dance plazas mm -hmm. over in New Mexico. Is there a kiva here? No, no. kivas. A couple of rooms that have ceremonial features. Mm -hmm. Well, what ceremonial? Right. Unusual mm -hmm. features. They also also have hearths. So, uh -huh. yeah, but yeah. I think that th there's no reason to suspect that religious practices here were identical with what you find in the eastern pueblos or Zuni mm -hmm. or. Uh, or Hopi. But the point is that when this got built out up here at this level, um, there was no place to build additional homes mm -hmm. up here, residences. Uh, and if we had another group of people as uh, so like... So could this have been field houses then? No. no? I th What I think and what my wife Maggie agrees with is that this may be what we see of a clan that was looking for a permanent place in its wanderings. Mm. They came and said, can we come and settle in love with you guys? Yeah, but there's no more room up here. Oh, you can they, build down there. Yeah, that makes sense. That whole group of buildings, of rooms, all residential, as far as I can tell, mm -hmm. um, that was constructed as a unit, as was this group, uh, this room block right here, constructed as a unit. What's a shirt? A shirt is a um, piece of ceramic that's broken, oh. not shard. So Claire's training me. I'm a novice archaeologist now, self-proclaimed, but I just happened to look here and I found this little piece of pottery and then I found this one here that was just sort of sticking sticking out of the dirt a little bit so I'll just put that guy back I think you can touch this stuff as long as you don't take it but here's a little what is this one Claire? It's a macro flake, obsidian and it was made for what? 
It's evidence of tool production, so it was probably used for some kind of projectile point or knife.